What a beautiful view. Does this place actually bring back some memories? Does it take you down memory lane? I'm probably sure it does to all the lovers of this gentleman's music. Now, he blends a little bit of hip-hop, high life, R&B, and a bit of pop to create a very distinct sound that we all cannot help but fall in love with. Now, with a video like My Lady topping the channel all charts, Jay Gatte is gradually becoming a force to reckon with when it comes to GH music. If you ask me, I say he is the new face of GH music. Now, word around tells me that he is a lover of art and a lover of nature. So this is where he normally comes to get inspired and write his lyrics. I'm hearing that he's up there in the lighthouse trying to put a little few things on paper. I wonder why Jay Gatte would come all the way up here to get inspired and write music. Well, we'll soon find out. Come with me, shall we? You know what? Just wish me luck because um, 121 flights of stairs, I don't know how I'm going to do it, but somehow I have to. Come with me, come on. You know what? All my life, I wanted what was in a lighthouse, but um, thanks to Jay Gatti, I now know. And I hope there's a cold drink out there for when I get back. Wow! Look at what I have to climb up to. Wow. Yes, I made it. I finally made it to the top of the lighthouse. Now, all my life, even as a child, I've been dreaming of this day. And thanks to Jay Gatte, I'm doing it. So let's find him. Where is he? Because I heard he's somewhere here trying to get inspired. Right from... Oh, nice to finally meet you, Jay. Nice to meet you as well. Why up here of all places? Well, you know, you got us. I mean, it feels, I like the wind up here, and anywhere I, anywhere I go, you know, you find beautiful places to inspire you. So. Right. Now tell us, who is Jay Gatti? Um, well, I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm based in New York, I'm based in Accra. I go back and forth. Okay. You know, we're doing, we're bringing the music out in Ghana, internationally as well. Right. In Europe and U.S. Right. And, um, you know, I'm very excited at this point. Things are going pretty well. Pretty well. Where did it all start? Yeah, well, it started when I was young. Mm -hmm. um, my grandmother was a singer. Oh, okay. Who, who's yeah. your grandmother? Uh, Sabina Hope. That oh. was many years ago. Many years ago. She's, she, she's passed now. Oh, wow. Bless her heart. She, she passed away about five years ago. Okay. But she was... Um, she was a big singer and a, an actor in plays. All right. You know, at that time, in the, in the 1940s, nobody had CDs and records. So right. it was all about reputation. And she used to sing in Cape Coast and in Kumasi as well. Okay. Yeah. So you are actually Ghanaian. You're half Ghanaian. Half and... Ghanaian. My father's a Ghanaian. Okay. From Winneba. And... and my grandmother was from Cape Coast. All right. Also. Winneba, Cape Coast connection. And your mom? My mother's from Canada. All right. Okay. Your grandmother was, uh, was a very renowned musician back in the day in the 40s and she inspired you mm -hmm. how did she what, what did she do to what, did you want to be like her or um, you know we used to sit at the dinner table mm -hmm. and so we were shy at the time so she'd make us stand up and sing songs you know just over and over over again. and over again yeah and that's how you sort of started to like music, like music. right and then um around the age of 11 i started a rap group oh you started a rap group yeah, what Ghana. was it called it was called chief in the tribe oh yeah. right yeah. and <laughs> how did that go that was that was very i mean at the time only rapper in ghana was kkd okay and he, he was an mc but he used to at the at the shows he would bust the flow yeah and um we had a um, actually kweku t was in that group oh wow yeah. awesome kweku t was in that group and a, another rapper named my baby okay. who's based in atlanta now now okay and is he still rapping as he's well still rapping. awesome he's, he's, he's doing very well over there wow yeah and okay. um so we rocked we, we were the, i would say like if you ask anybody they won't argue with you uh Reggie Rockstone was around at that time too, and it was just Chief in the Tribe. Reggie Rockstone, the only rapper. Groups in Ghana. Yeah. We did wow. well. We used to perform at big stages. You know, oh. Ziggy Marley came to Ghana. We okay, then. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. Public Enemy. Wow. Yeah, okay. Like so then that's something you've been doing for quite some time now. Yeah. Now, how did your parents take it when you said, mm -hmm. you know, Mom and Dad, I have decided I have my calling. Mm -hmm. I want to go into music. Mm -hmm. What did they say when you said that? 
you know, my father always told me you can do anything you want, but try and be the best or put your passion into it. Definitely. As long as you put your passion to whatever you do, it's going to be valuable for other people. So, Definitely. You know, he's a doctor, so of course the doctor wants his children to be a doctor. I was about to say, he probably will want you yeah. to be a doctor or a lawyer or something. Mm -hmm. So, you know, music. But he told me, so he told, once he told me music is like, a, it's like a doctor for the soul. Right. So... It's like as long as you put your all into it, you right. support it. But you know, I, I still have a, you know, I went to university, I have my, a degree, and I like history a lot. Okay. Yeah, so one day when I'm an old man, I'll be a, a history also, professor. Okay, so for, for now, this is what you're going to do till yeah. you're an old man and you can be a history professor. History professor. That is yeah. so cute. I like history. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> So what would you say your genre of music is? What kind of music do you do? Because I, I was saying earlier that you blend hip hop, a little bit of mm. high life, a little bit of pop, a little bit of yeah. R&B, so. I used to get that question a lot, so we, we made a name for it, it's called Urban Pop Life. Urban Pop Life. Yeah, because the Why? reason that is because it's like a urban, it's urban music, which is, you know, rap, R&B. Right. At the same time, I like um, high life guitars. Right. And I like um, Ghanaian percussion. Course. So we mix that in with the R&B, so we just call it the urban pop life. Okay. That's the style. Right. All right, now, I know you're used to being up here because mm. you get inspired. You come up here to write your lyrics and stuff, but me, mm. it's a bit scary for it's me. Scary. So why don't we just go down this, you know, this 121. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to get um, down, huh? Yeah. All right, he, he's used to it, but not me, so... say is I thank God that we're down to earth right now because oh my god that was a bit scary